Hello hockey fans. Well, the great debate two years ago was Taylor Hall or Tyler Sege. It's been two years now. They're three quarters of the way through their second season. Let's see how they stack up against each other. So I'm going to have to look at my notes because my memory sucks and I didn't put it up on my computer. So here we go. Tyler Sege is ranked 41st. Taylor Hall is ranked 55th. They've played 54 games for Sege, 46 for Hall. Uh, Hall's, Hall's had injury issues again this year. He missed the end of the season last year. Uh, there's not much you can do about this. It's just the way he plays. Uh, he's in your face. He's more of a power forward, whereas Sege is more of a setup guy. Both guys have 20 goals, so they're both ranked 37th. Uh, Sege has 25 assists. Uh, he's 59th. And Hall has 22 assists. He's 87th. So Sege has 45 points, ranked 40th, and Hall has 42 points, ranked 54th, so they're just within reach of each other. Now here's a big difference. Sege's plus minus, he's a plus 28th, he's first in the league. Hall is a plus plus one, he's 273rd in the league. Now to be fair, a lot of that has to do with how horrible Edmonton's defense is and they just allow too many, too many goals. Uh, they're not in the playoffs, whereas Boston is. It, it does make a huge difference, uh, the team you play on. Penalty minutes, uh, 16 for Sege, 24 for Taylor Hall. Power play goals, 4 for Sege. 10 for Taylor Hall, he's ranked 6th. And uh, shorthanded goals, neither has any. Game-winning goals, they both have 5 and they're ranked 10th. And shots on goal, 163 for Sege, he's 40th, 150 for Hall, he's 60th. A shooting percentage, 12.3, 151st for Sege, and 13.3, 111th for Hall. So comparatively speaking, both players are just as good, uh, other than the plus minus, and that has more to do with the team that they're playing on than anything else. Uh, there was for a while there Boston was scoring at will and, and racking up goals on other teams so it's very easy to be a plus 28 on a team like that plus, plus the other big difference is that Sege has got a Stanley Cup ring now and Taylor Hall will get one it's all eventual but the luck was on Sege's side as he got chosen to a team that ended up winning the Stanley Cup and made that team that much better he did, did figure well in the playoffs last year we'll see how Hall does when he eventually gets there uh, Edmonton needs to get their act together though. They can't just keep missing the playoffs and ending up lost in the standings every year. So eventually they're going to have to show up and do something. But uh, that's up to management to put a good team together. Whereas Sege, he landed on a really good team and continues to be on a really good team. Even though Boston's been struggling lately, they barely won last night. So we'll see how these guys go into the future but they're still they're ranked pretty high for a couple of two-year rookies and I guess the discussion continues Taylor Hall or Tyler Sege until next time